This is Yulanzi's affordable budget dual channel wireless microphone with portable charging case and noise cancelling features. It's priced just under 43 USD on Yulanzi's website. The microphone kit is suitable for people who want to use their smartphone to create video content and record from a certain distance without having a cable in between the devices. But it's not limited to smartphone, you can use it for all kinds of device because it has the lightning connector option as well as a Type-C connection option. So basically you can use it for iPhone or older iPads with lightning or with Type-C you can use it for Android phones, MacBook, desktop computers, notebook PC, tablets, you name it, the options are right here. The charging case is small in size, basically less than half of an iPhone 13 Pro Max right here. So it's pocketable and travel friendly. It weighs just under 87 grams in total. All black matte plastic finish with the Type-C charging port and the LED charging indicator on the bottom. Opening the case is quite easy with one finger movement. Let's talk about the receiver unit first. Put this down. So here we have the receiver unit. This is the lightning variant. So on either side, it has these two dots right here that shows the uh, LED that is paired with the transmitter. On the other side is the input port where you can actually uh, charge the, your iPhone and use the microphone at the same time. So lightning, lightning. If you go with type C right here, it will be type C and type C. So two different options right here. The transmitters are the most compact and less intrusive design. Unlike many clip-on wireless microphones in the market, they are usually bigger in size or awkward looking, so it breaks the fashion sense. This one is more fashion friendly. This one has an effective range of 20 meters line of sight based on 2.4 gigahertz frequency range. So you can say the connectivity is digital. Each transmitter right here is lightweight, so you can peg it on your clothes, on your head, on into back strap, anyway because this one weighs 8.7 grams each. So to power on, it does not boot up immediately once you take off from the case. You have to press on the right side right here, the power button, until the LED blinks. So red and green uh, cycling shows is pairing, but because I have the iPhone on the background already paired, so green color shows it's paired. Now, you can toggle between few ANC modes based on the amount of blinks it shows for the green LED. If you press one time, there is ANC mode 1, blink 2 times, ANC mode 2, blink 3 times, ANC mode 3, and once it stays static, that's noise reduction turned off. So aside from that, on the bottom right here is the metal pads where it's charging for in the case. And you can charge it also with Type-C connection right here. Again, you cannot use and charge it at the same time, so it will, if you're charging it, it will just turn off the transmitter and just start charging it. And the clip right here is you know, cute and has grips right here. Also, the package comes included with a decently length Type-C to Type-A cable right here, which I like it. In the event you lose your manual, you can come back to this video, play and pause this section to understand how the button and LED function works. The charging case and both transmitters each takes about 3 hours to charge from empty to full. Now at fully charged, the transmitter is rated to last between 6 to 7 hours. And the charging case right here can hold between 4 to 5 rounds of full charge when the pair is put inside here to charge from empty to full. Now aside from that, from our personal experience recently, I would say the charging case right here holds around 4.5 uh, rounds of charge which is good enough for a full day trip or a two day trip and you can just put it in quick charge and you're good to go now when it comes to the transmitter part it is lasting up to six hours with no ANC just casual usage which is long and good enough for long block block sessions if you don't want to carry the uh, charging case you can always use the transmitter alone and you're good to go for six hours blogging now if you need a little bit more juice you can always quickly charge with Type-C right here as well. On to our next test. Currently what you're listening to is my Samsung S20. Hook it up with the Filmic Pro app set at the highest sampling rate of 48 kilohertz and the mic gain set at 50%. So this is with normal mode. There's traffic, there's construction, there's baby squeaking shoes, testing one, two, three, pink fluffy unicorn, dancing on rainbow, she sells seashells on the seashore. Now the wind is blowing from this side. What I'm gonna do is enable ANC mode one first. 
With one LED bling, this shows is in ANC mode 1. So testing 1 to 3, pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbow, she sells seashells on the seashore. Now we can hear some car alarm on the background. I'm going to enable ANC mode 2. With two LED blinks, this is in ANC mode 2, testing 1 to 3, pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbow, she sells seashells on the seashore. So let's go into ANC mode 3. So this is the ANC mode 3. So testing 1 to 3, pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbow, she sells seashells on the seashore. Now the wind is coming from this side, I'm not sure whether you guys can hear it. Kids are crying at a distance and there is road traffic. On to our second test, currently what you're listening to is my setup with the iPhone 13 Pro Max with the Moment app set at the highest beat depth and beat rate. So this is also set at the mic gain of 1. So testing 1 to 3, pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbow, she sells seashells on the seashore. This is how I sound like with normal mode. What I'm going to do next is toggle ANC mode 1. So by it blinking one time that shows ANC mode 1 is activated so testing 1 to 3 pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbow she sells seashells on the seashore so there's some light wind breeze some traffic on the background and bird chipping on top we're gonna go toggle into ANC mode 2 with two LED blinks this is ANC mode 2 testing 1 to 3 pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbow she sells seashells on the seashore so there will be a little bit of audio degradation uh, degrade a little bit from this point onwards, we're going to go to mode 3. With 3 LED blinks, now we are in ANC mode 3. Loud traffic, wind, testing 1 to 3, pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbow, she sells seashells on the seashore. So let's jump into the next test with the Android device. On to the next test where we are in indoor environment, the only sound that can come from the environment is the air conditioned sound right above me. I'm using the MacBook Pro M1 Pro 14 inch with the USB Type C on OBS Studio recording at the sampling rate of 48 kHz maximum. So let's jump into the test. Testing 1 to 3, Pink Fluffy Unicorn dancing on rainbow, she sells seashells on the seashore. Let's go into ANC mode number 1. So this is how I sound like with ANC mode number 1. Maybe you can hear, maybe not, you cannot hear the aircon. So testing 1 to 3, pink puffy unicorn dancing on rainbow, she sells seashells on the seashore, but I like vanilla ice cream with a bit of biscuit and Nutella mixed with it. Let's go into ANC mode number 2. So testing 1 to 3, pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbow, she sells seashells on the seashore. This is how I sound like with ANC mode number 2. Maybe I want to go with a meeting if some of my neighbors doing some sexy sound at night. Let's go into ANC mode number 3. So, I'm going to leave some comments on each particular mode. Testing 1 to 3, Pink Fluffy Unicorn, Dancing on Rainbow, She Sells Seashells on a Seashore. This is how I sound like with the maximum ANC mode turned on. Again, I'm recording on the MacBook Pro. Let's jump into the finale of this review. So, it has been the next day. I have done my full edit and run through each test in detail with a proper IEM so I can hear all the fine notes that you may not, you know, detect. So I can come to a conclusion that Yulanzi itself is amazing. They actually undercharge themselves. They should actually charge at a higher price. Yes, the transmitter and the receiver may lack professional features, apps and accessibilities and buttons. But what they gain in strength is portability, lightweight. So you don't see like, you know, heavy wireless microphone in the market is heavy, like those square shape. I won't mention the name. It drags on your shirt. Look, my shirt is straight up. It does not look dragged. Battery life is amazing. And more importantly, they provide you three ANC modes. Other brands in the market usually limit themselves to one or two, but three is amazing. And I'm going to tell you why. First is ANC mode one, which is soft or low ANC settings. It's good from my understanding from my recent review, I would say indoors, where you want to remove the air conditioned noise, the fan noise, or the PC rumbling minute amount and your voice sounds natural. ANC Mood 2 is amazing. It's best suited for all environments, cafe, outdoor. Even now, the conclusion of this video is filmed with the Yulanzi J12 mic set to ANC Mood 2. This is where it can remove as much natural sound from the background yet retain your vocals as natural as possible. Now in worst case scenario, very worst case scenario like busy, noisy, concert, outdoors and mall areas, enable ANC mode 3 which is high. 
Now that helps to eliminate a lot more noise in the lows and the highs. However, your vocal tends to be a little bit synthetic, a little bit tense, a little bit uh, pitch change because they have to cut a lot of noises from the lows and the high range. So use ANC mode when you need it or sparingly. So here's the conclusion. Basically, Yulanzi, you impressed me. You may not have a lot of features, but battery life is good, portability is good, ANC is smooth. I feel that you really <laughs> make this product too affordable. You should maybe mark up another 20 USD. I think that is a suitable price, but you know, Yulanzi is very people friendly. They want people to have accessibility to their products. I have a lot of their tripods, a lot of their Felcam F38, which is a quick release mechanism. Even their tripod is also by Yulanzi. They are not sponsoring the video, but anyway, I will recommend these babies. If you are in USB mode or lightning mode, get one, keep it in your pocket or keep it in your bag. I'm setting up as a full time right here on my Mac. So if I have a zoom call, put the mic on and I'm good to go. Links in the video description where you can purchase them. But more importantly, please subscribe to our channel so I can deliver and get you guys more content because companies out there want to see subscriber count before they give the product. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe and comment below. I'll see you guys in the next review. Till then, eat more Oreos.